Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette, your favorite girl on the internet. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my oatmeal in the mornings because I thought it would be interesting to be quite honest with you. Um, and I'm really enjoying trying to cook more, bake more, and yeah, just be more involved in the kitchen. So yeah. Before we get into today's video, I would ask that you would subscribe so you can keep up with your favorite girl on the internet and give this video a thumbs up if you like the fact that I'm doing a cooking video slash showing you how I make my oatmeal in the mornings and comment, say hi, I say hi back. And yeah, without further ado, let us get into today's video of how I make my oatmeal in the morning. So yeah, first things first, these ingredients that I'm using. You don't have to use every single thing. You don't have to have every single thing in your pantry slash refrigerator. Um, obviously you can kind of switch things out if you have them or not, but these are just the things that I use. It, it looks like a lot, but I promise you it tastes really good and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. Let me show you guys the ingredients of all the things that I put slash use to make my oatmeal in the morning. These are all the things that I use to make my oatmeal every single morning. So I have some Forager probiotic cashew yogurt milk, um, cashew milk yogurt right here. And this is blueberry flavored. Have some unsweetened um, coconut milk, cinnamon, cacao nibs, peanut butter, crunchy with the oil because that is my favorite from Trader Joe's. I have some honey, vanilla almond cr cluster cereal, my oatmeal obviously, goji berries, some roasted um, unsalted sunflower seeds. I have some chia seeds in this little bag here, cacao powder, and yeah, I believe that is it. That is all that I use in to make my oatmeal. It's a lot of ingredients, but it's really, really good. I love it especially. And then I have a 1 4th cup um, here, so I can measure out my oatmeal as well as my coconut milk. So let us get started. So first things first, I am going to have my pot here ready. And I'm going to put it on about two right here and then i'm going to measure half a cup of oatmeal and then a full cup of coconut milk so i'm going to do that now oh yeah another ingredient that i forgot is fresh blueberries so i'm gonna i'm gonna get that after i do this And here are my blueberries. I got them from Sprouts because they sell um, pretty cheap, fresh produce. So, and it's pretty good. But yeah, these are my blueberries. I'm gonna put about a handful of blueberries into my oatmeal. So yeah, my blueberries are in there now. And then for the cinnamon, I just put however much that I think is a good amount. I know some people can't handle a lot of cinnamon. Um, some people can not handle cinnamon at all, or they can handle a lot. That's how much I put on there. I also start adding my cacao nibs, sprinkle a couple of shakes in there. And then I get my little um, thing of cacao powder. Kind of sprinkle that on. I also use this protein powder like scoop. Um, I find it really helpful. So yeah, that's what I use to kind of scoop out my cacao powder. And now I'm going to mix everything up just so that it's evenly distributed. So I'm just gonna let that go for a couple minutes.
now that it's boiled up a little bit, just gonna make sure I mix it all together. And I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of honey on top. Just so that we can get some sweetness in there. The oatmeal is at a texture that I really like. I like my oatmeal to be pretty soft. All right, so I thought I would switch up the scenery for dressing this oatmeal. First thing I'm gonna do is put my crunchy peanut butter on top. I put a whopping, <laughs> a whopping amount of peanut butter because I like the texture. And then I'm gonna add some goji berries. There we go, got some goji berries in there. I'm going to put some chia seeds on there. Just sprinkle that around. Some sunflower seeds. And hopefully you guys are seeing, I'm just like, I'm not measuring all this stuff. I'm kind of eyeballing everything. So it's totally up to you how much you want to put in terms of toppings on your oatmeal. I'm putting my vanilla almond clusters on there. And then I am drizzling some honey again on top. And the piece de resistance. The piece de resistance is my probiotic cashew milk yogurt. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here for you guys. And that, my friends, is how I make my oatmeal every single morning. So it might not be the most aesthetically pleasing oatmeal, but it is really delicious. Extremely filling. So let me know if you try this out, if you like this. I'm just gonna mix it all up. <laughs> I'm also going to add way more probiotic cashew yogurt milk because I prefer a lot in mine. Put more in there. I'm going to mix all that up. And it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look appetizing, but it tastes really good. Mm. And this is what I've been eating every single morning. And it has good ingredients. So let me know if you try it. Let me know if you make it. But yeah, that is how I make my oatmeal. Don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you guys in the next one.